I'm Robert Osborne. We've been spotlighting Sophia Loren all day as part of our Summer of the Stars Festival here on TCM. It's been a joy to not only look at the work of Sophia, but just to look at Sophia herself. And she's rarely looked better or been more beautifully photographed than she is by Christopher Chalice in this next movie. It's an espionage thriller called Arabesque, released by Universal in 1966. This five years after Sophia, gave her Academy Award winning performance in the Italian film, Two Women. Our movie Arabesque is a project which was part of a production deal that Sophia's husband, Carlo Ponti, had made with her with Universal Studios after she'd returned to Hollywood from Italy where she'd made several films for director Vittorio De Sica, Marcello Mastriani, her leading man in several of those films. Meanwhile, director Stanley Donnan just had a great success at Universal with his spy caper comedy, Charade, and Universal was pushing Donnan to make a similar kind of film with the same oomph factor of Charade, which had starred Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn. And they hit the jackpot this time as well, this time with Sophia and Gregory Peck together for the first time. Now, Sophia said she couldn't have been more thrilled than to be working with Greg Peck. She'd wanted to work with him for years. It was Sophia, actually, who presented Greg Peck his Oscar as Best Actor when he won for the 1962 film To Kill a Mockingbird. And that night, immediately after Greg gave his acceptance speech and the two of them started to walk off stage together, Sophia said to him, now when are we gonna make a movie together? Well, three years later, they did. In this movie, you'll see Sophia wearing exceptionally stylish and exquisite clothes, all designed for her by Christian Dior. And all of them given to Sophia to take home for free after the shooting wrapped. Nice perk. Here from 1966 with the added plus of music by Henry Mancini, we bring you Arabesque. <laughs> 